All right, folks. What up? Shaved up a little bit or I wouldn't be touching my face. And uh, it was time I shaved about every three months. My wife likes it. Don't bother me any one way or the other. But anyway, with that being said, let's talk about this real quick. So, we're going to play the what if game. Now, I can play the what if game because I'm not monetized and they can block the video, I guess. But it's the what if game. So, let's play it for a minute. There's a little bit of uh, common sense bold down in this if you think about it. But look, if y'all remember back, some of you youngsters will not, but back in the day there was What If Comics. I think one of them was What If Conan Fought Thor or different things of that nature. They crossed over DC with Marvel. They did different things to make you think of What If. Well, we're going to play this the modern version today. What if we hit 2, 3, 30 million people infected with the coronavirus and the death total starts going up? I'm going to just about tell you what's going to happen. But what if it does? Well, if it does, I can just about guarantee they're going to declare martial law and stick everybody in the house and throw National Guard and the reserves on the streets to keep folks from out conjugating because you know you're going to tell me i'm crazy and you're going to tell me that that could never happen so be it i am a little nutty i have been told that from time to time but faced in the fact that the common sense is i just went to the grocery store there's no toilet paper up there there's no hand sanitizer and the other reason that gives me promise for this might happen walmart's giving out overtime now that never happens, ever. Other things that never happen, never has happened. The federal government is actually getting cooperation from the private industry. That never happens. Other things that never happen. Apple's shutting down all their stores for two weeks. That never happens. So there's a lot of things that never happen that are happening. The fact that all of our amusement parks are shut down, the movies are shut down, all the sporting events have shut down. So tell me now, crazy I am, that this what if might not become a reality. I just went to the grocery store and bought stuff that doesn't spoil just to be in case just in case we get stuck in the house for two weeks. And I never just buy crap that doesn't spoil. Rice, beans, soup, uh, boxes of pasta, rice. I said that, yeah. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff I bought because, you know, if it happens, and it possibly well could happen, that uh, my whitest scenario could come to pass and uh the question is how will you survive and uh how will the government handle that i was thinking first thing they'd have to do is give everybody a deadline and there would be a mad dash for everything left on the grocery store that would happen in this what if scenario Another thing that would happen is people would be freaking worried and wondering, what about bills? What about TV, lights? Well, I'm going to tell you what would happen. The only way that could happen is the government would have to order that all that be frozen and no thing could be turned off or nothing. Because you think it's a riot now. Or you think it'd be bad if that happened. Give somebody shut in with nothing to do but to look at each other. That would be really bad. Because people would go absolutely batshit. People don't already like to be told what to do now. Be told that you have to sit in the house and look at each other. That would be terrible. My what if scenario always boils down to if it happens. Well, 
way they're talking, the way this thing keeps growing, it could be really bad really quick. And this beer virus just keeps keeps growing. Every day is a little bit more. But like the, the federal doctor said, it's how big they can keep the spike from going up and how well they can keep it just molding down before it start and before it starts going away because it will go away but i'm gonna tell you this there will nothing ever be the same on the back side of this there's a lot of stuff that will change nothing will go back to say life is normal because a lot of stuff has already changed about the way we do things so i think hand sh shaking hands and being all touchy feeling on folks how a lot of people are i think that will go away in a very short order because a lot of this is passed through human contact and being in close proximity to each other and uh yeah so i think shaking hands is going away on the, as relative to this so just rambling just talking i'll throw this out there tell me i'm crazy tell me i'm wrong tell me what my what if scenario is absolutely nuts and you think i'm stupid like subscribe share leave a comment good or bad i don't care just uh let me know what you're thinking about let me know if you think i'm correct or if you think i'm stupid i'd like to know either way i'll comment back to you i'll talk to you i ain't got no problem doing that so for that be sure to wash your hands stay clean peace